It is 11.01 on the dot. I was supposed to get to Jenna's at 11 and I am here at 11. It just took me a minute because I'm trying to return something on Amazon. Nick has the stuff. I'm trying to find the barcode. I can't find it. I hate when they do that. Like I just want to put it in a package and put the label on it because there's no UPS store anywhere near our house. Anyways, I wanted to film earlier. I had this whole plan today to get up at 6, get out of the door at 6.30, go to the gym. Um, a guy that owns a local pet store was coming at 9 to pick up some adult dubia roaches from me that I was giving to him. And I did not make it to the gym. I was exhausted. I just slept in. I mean, growing a baby, I'm just like, I'm so tired. I need to get all the sleep I can get. So the gym has to wait yet again. And then... Um, Nick and I were going over some of our, we're, we're about to remodel our bedroom. Um, we're currently remodeling Harlow's room and moving her into that. It's where my animals used to be. So if you've been kind of following, then you know what's going on. But then we're starting the bedroom. So we were like laying out a bunch of blue tape and all that. And so today, uh, Jenna and I are going to go down south to Del Mar. We're going to Parakeet Cafe. This is like one of the first events I have been invited to in like the past three or four years, which is very exciting and I'm honored. I feel very special. So it's really nice. Um, so I'm bringing Jenna with me. We're going to go do that. And then I think we're going to go to Nordstrom and like UTC and do some like outfit shopping. I wanted to shop for the bump a little bit. I'm not fitting into a whole lot. So I just want some more stretchy items that I can use like after maternity as well. This weather is really jacking me up though. It's like pouring today. It was beautiful yesterday. I'm like, I don't know how to dress. So I'm at Jenna's right now. I'm about to walk in. Um, and we have decided to put our hi uh, podcast on a little bit of a hiatus and focus on like this type of content on our own, uh, channels. So I'm really excited for that little new journey. I think that's going to be fun. Um, but dude, check this weather out. This weather needs to right off, but, uh, let's go inside. I have the code to Jenna's uh, house, so I can basically get in here whenever I want. I'm feeling pretty special about it. <laughs> Wait, okay. let me draw a box around you. Look at this crazy thing. Okay, wait. Let me... This is Jenna's little... Okay, wait. Our new I'm going to watch around me. And I move. And this whole thing follows me. Like, like watch. See ya. That is so crazy. It's so cool. And it looks like we have a filter on. Something with this um, app. Yeah, make I sure think filters not, it. I bet you it's in your settings. Okay, here. Get in the frame now. I want to draw a box around you. And then you move to the side. I'm just fascinated by this. This whole thing moves. Wow. That is so, so cool. Um, we're gonna go to Starbucks, right? Yeah. I think I'm gonna get the cinnamon. There's new. There's a new cinnamon one. With, and I'm gonna do dark chocolate. Okay, those are two things I hate. Um, so I won't be trying that, but um, okay. love that for you. Uh <laughs> what about pink drink with chocolate cold foam? What the hell is chocolate cold foam? I just had a protein bar. These are like the best protein bars in the Oh, my world. client works for them. She's going to um, get us a bunch. <gasps> yeah. Does that Have you, did your phone <laughs> talk to you in that voice often? Like, what no, was I've that? No, I've never had a man voice on my phone before. Okay, we weren't recording, but it literally just said, oh what did it say? It said, you're really cool. You're really cool too, Jennifer. Oh, I don't Siri? even refer to myself as Jennifer. Oh my, that's freaking weird. Ew. What'd you get? I got um, the strawberry cream. I've been getting this since high school. What'd you um, get? I got <laughs> a novel. It's a venti iced <laughs> Kindle? Cinnamon. Cinnamon dolce latte with oat milk, with cinnamon dolce, and dark caramel sauce. Dang, that is quite the novel. It's a dessert. Oh, yeah. So we're talking about The Bachelor because we, <laughs> she watched the last episode last night so we could catch up on it, but um, she, I don't know if you guys saw it, but Bachelor's kind of lame these days, but um, also like bring Chris Harrison back. The new host sucks so bad. Um, I don't mind him, but I miss Chris. Yeah, he kind of bugs me. But I wonder if, I, I really, really wonder if he sits there and he's like, God, you guys are all like a bunch of little whiny bitches. Which one? Oh, oh, Jesse Palmer. Because he's so, like, considerate. Like, oh, yeah, it must be hard. It must be. No, it's not. I know. He's, that's why he bugs me. He's a little too, like, dramatic and in, in, into it. Like, oh, like, no, bitch, you don't think that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <sighs> but, yeah, Gabby blocked me. Um, <laughs> Which I absolutely love. <laughs> I love that that happened. Me too. <laughs> uh, well, I kind of expected it because when she gets out of the car, 
her chauffeur drops her off where it's wet and if you've ever seen any bachelor they always wet the floor so there's not dust they always wet the driveway they always wet everything not only that but she's in a country where it's humid as hell all year round rains a ton and like fuck you you're in another country you it's got flown there for free right? um i think they were in thailand thailand that's right um so like very tropical and it wasn't even muddy either and as she gets out it didn't look like it was no it wasn't it was like wet but it's better than getting dust in your toes and like every bachelor like proposal thing is you're you're always walking through some shit like sand, sand or whatever yeah so like the way that she spoke to the driver if you saw it you know and the audience was laughing and i was like they why are we laughed. endearing this this is like this is ridiculous behavior it's appalling but if you didn't see it she basically got out and looked at the ground and was like Ugh, fuck like you guys just dropped me off in like mud or something like that yeah, and she's like, like don't do this to katie when, when it matters when it really matters when it really matters i didn't catch that she just told me about that uh -huh. today we and I, it and watched it again because i was like did she just say that yeah and so i was just appalled at how she spoke to anyone first of all and like can you imagine how she acts when cameras are not around well that was why i didn't like her to begin with because i feel like everybody kind of forgot like what a bitch she was in the beginning when she wasn't when she was a whiny bitch when zach was his name zach yeah when he wasn't paying attention when he, to her. Was, when he wasn't giving her attention but then mm -hmm. as soon as he started to like her it's like she became this totally different person mm -hmm. so she spoke really well with the parents though ken and i were like wow she really knew how to like interact and communicate with his parents because she did she did but she seemed it. fake she seemed it seemed fake to me yeah. so she deleted my comment blocked me and i just thought it was really immature like she had that opportunity to be like you know what playing that back i was appalled too like i that's not really my character like i was really stressed out something 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 but no she had said deleted it and blocked me and i was like no she just went kind of there and tell zach what he should have done and how he should have carried himself but won't right? take any responsibility for her own actions and what she did Nope, and then she just left all the comments that were like just talking mad shit about Zach, like, uh, and left all those. And the ironic part is her Instagram name is sprinkling underscore sunshine. And I was like, oh, you're a real fucking ray of sunshine. So we are a little early. We're going to go to Home Goods. So I was going to show Jenna what we're doing with our room. And we're also in the middle of remodeling Harlow's room right now. We've got a drywaller there today. So we're going to look for some simple stuff. But so. That is, okay, so currently. Okay, this is how you come in right here? So this is the entrance yeah. right here. And currently this closet is smaller and it goes to like here. Okay. And then this is a random cutout where we have our TV hanging here. And our headboard is currently on this wall yeah. right here. That's beautiful, but I'm liking this one better. Yeah. So that's the inspo. These, oh no, I like these. These are so cute. Like, I like the little fringe. Yellow, not so much. There's some cute, like, round ones. I like these. So I love this, but I'd have to start matching the color if I get this. Like, I'd have to stick with yeah. this, like, pink, whatever. Okay, so how but much that's, is that? But that looks burnt. Like, burnt something. Salmon. Yeah. Burnt salmon. It's free. Is there literally no price on this? I think that's one of the only times I've walked out of Home Goods with one item. I just bought that little flower blanket. It's super cute. We are going to be 50. 14 minutes late, but with the rain, I feel like everyone else is too. cafe that was super fun um that was fun tasting out there spring menu overall very good we are heading over to utc to go to nordstrom we're gonna try on some clothes oh. we're gonna try and to not miss the exit <laughs> um we're gonna dress the bump jenna is like the queen of styling so she's Aww. gonna help, help me out in so two sweet. miles use the right three lanes to take you think i can wear that with a pregnant belly we're gonna find I out. I think so, I think it'd be cute. Yeah? Yeah. These two, I think these are super cute. Good American. I'm not gonna be able to wear these for a little bit, but she thinks maybe since they're stretchy. What? What size do you want me to grab? Um, these are a six. Let's try a six. I mean, if they're a little stretchy, might work under the belly. Let's grab an eight too, just because I want them to be baggy. 
baggy, like baggy baggy. That is cute. I just have quite a few dresses like that already. These look really comfy. I don't know, I actually just really like a simple ass shirt with them, but this one might be cuter. It's kind of more like a crappie. Crappie. Yeah, I like that. Crappie top. It's like, kind of giving MC Hammer vibes, but. <laughs> See, it's giving me like Balinese, like mm -hmm. resort vibes. So I have these billabong shorts in a bunch of different colors and they're really comfortable. I've got black, pink, and another one. So I like those. Um, Finally a small in this. I'm gonna grab this guy. This is super, I really like these two, but I'm just not gonna be able to fit in these for like a really long time. So um, we'll go with this for now. This is a hard no. I can't even walk. This thing is so tight. I feel like it's like, The boob things are like, this is for someone with very small boobs, like me, pre-boob job. <laughs> <laughs> Look at where these boob things end. Oh. It's for like really little boobs. So I didn't realize this until Jenna told me, but this is asymmetrical. So um, definitely a bigger size. <laughs> It has potential. It's just my nipples literally right here and this goes right here. So I think it needs to be made for like, I don't know, I would definitely need a bigger size, but cute if you had a smaller chest, I think. What do we think? This is super cute. Like with like a little cardigan or those little free people ones. This is kind of like coming outward right here, which is a little annoying, but overall I think it's really cute. I love this little scalloped edge. I had that like all throughout my childhood. Loving it. It's cute. I like it. I've never worn green before. I like this one. I feel like it's supposed to be like a swimsuit situation. Yeah. Was that but, one? Um, this is the small, the bigger one. Yeah. Um, but it's so, it's like so soft. I love it. It's, it and you, if you want like to, you could too. just wear jean shorts underneath. To oh yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Jean shorts yes. or even like little capris. Like if I want to look like a mom, <laughs> <laughs> like capris, like capris with like little, you um, es espadrilles. <laughs> kind of that's kind of a bad thing that I just look no, like <laughs> no I mean until it like touches it more but like you were bending over it didn't really look pregnant now you do this is a pretty color though it's Love like it. not green but it's green but it's, it's, it's like kind of tint of blue in it okay this is the ugliest top I've okay. ever seen wait hear me out hear me out hear me out this top right not pregnant and with high-waisted bell bottoms and like if you're gonna transport yourself back to the early 2000s or what Oh my god, I'm like, I'm like Jennifer Garner or like, um, uh, something like in the Tara Reid. Oh my god. Tara Reid. It's giving Tara Reid. Josie, Josie and the Pussycat Dolls. Sorry. And, yeah. Yeah. What, what do you guys think about this? With, with that being said. Not like this. Not like this. Not with the pregnant, but, but like, I see what you're saying and I see where you're going with it, but yeah. this would have been hot like in the early 2000s, but it is. But the 2000s are in right now. Ugh. For like late 20s i feel like the teen part of that was yeah like, this is like this is like coyote ugly so in the 2000s when you were like early 2000s when you were like 28 you guys let us know what you think down below about the purple top <laughs> <laughs> these are all the yeses so we did pretty good honey i'm home Oh my gosh, the baby's still awake? <gasps> Why you don't have a shirt on? It's freezing. <laughs> oh, there's a little topless baby. We can't show the cameras. Where's my hat? Is that hat? Hat? Hat. I love you. I love you. Thanks for staying up so I can see you. I stopped by a little place to get you cilantro. And then I passed a bigger store, which is probably not better cilantro because that cilantro is not super great. Um, 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I didn't know that Nick was actually cooking pho from scratch. I thought he was like ordering it. I'm so sorry for being so late. It's 8 p.m. I did not realize you were cooking that from scratch. You gonna try and take my earrings out? Oh, you gonna shake your cookie shower out? <laughs> These are the earrings that you love to rip out of my ears. Here, why don't you look at this one? Cans like broke or something. Oh my gosh, what is that over there? What is what? What is that? Do you mean it's like a whole little smorgasbord? Look at this. I how cute. <laughs> You are something else. Well, oh my gosh. <gasps> you got us little socky glasses? Oh I my gosh. I am so impressed. And those are enoki mushrooms. I love those kinds of mushrooms. Oh my gosh. You, is this for our anniversary dinner? Yep. <laughs> anniversary. You couldn't get it off? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. Thank you. I love that you just made a picnic in our house since we don't have a dining table yet. You are so cute. Oh my gosh, and you warmed up the sake. Damn on, brother. Dang. I'm impressed. <laughs>